Today we're going to talk about 9.6, which is quadrilateral angle sum. We looked at triangle angle sum, but now we're going to look at quadrilateral. So we need to know what a quadrilateral is. The definition for a quadrilateral is an enclosed figure with four sides. So there are six main types of quadrilaterals that you would probably know. The parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, square, trapezoid, and the kite. Now, a quadrilateral is like a circle, did you know? Um, the way it is like a circle is that all the angles add to 360 degrees, just like a circle. So, A plus B plus C plus D angles equal 360 degrees. So that's very important to remember when we are trying to work with quadrilaterals and angle sum. Okay, let's try some examples now. We need to find the value of A in this quadrilateral. So we know that the quadrilateral adds to 360 degrees. So we just need to add up the angles and take them away from 360 to find out what angle A is. So we know uh, that we've got 85 degrees and 80 degrees and also because we know this is a right angle so this is 90 degrees here and so we can add them all up and take them away from 360 degrees that equals 105 degrees it's as easy as that okay and as with triangles quadrilaterals have exterior angles and those exterior angles are also supplementary, like they are with triangles. So they add to 180 degrees, as you can see in this diagram. So angle A and angle B, the exterior angle um, and the interior angle, both add to 180 degrees. Now let's use our knowledge of quadrilateral angle sum to find the value of A. So what we need to do is look at the other angles and take them away from 360 degrees. Now it's not evident to start with what all the uh, values of the angles are. So we can work out um, the value, well we know 70 degrees. Then we need to use our knowledge of exterior angles here to work out the next one. So 120 we take that away from 180 and that equals 60 degrees for our next one. Now when we're doing this, let's just use our code that we know that it's supplementary. So um, that's how we found the 60 degree angle. Also, we're going to use our knowledge of revolution as well here. So you can see that here, angles around a point add to 360 so 170 we take that away from 360 and we get 190 degrees so this angle around point C here is 190 degrees we take them all away from 360 and we are left with 40 degrees for angle A now we don't have any there's no um, codes for quadrilaterals as such but I want you just to be able to use the other codes that we know the supplementary revolution, um, those sorts of things to show your knowledge of quadrilateral angle sum.